This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and will cover elements 7.2, 7.3, 7.4 and 7.5 for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is titled The Basics of Your Web Browser. Now I'm going to demonstrate two web browsers, Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. So if we open Internet Explorer Our browser Internet Explorer loads and the web page that is displayed is Google. The reason we've got Google UK displayed is because I've made this my home page. Every browser that loads has to have a page to start from and that page is called your home page. So by default every time I load Internet Explorer Google will be the home page that is shown. You can change your home page very easily and we'll show you that in another tutorial. OK, let's take a look at Internet Explorer and look at the various parts that we've got available to us. First of all, we have the title at the top of the window, Google Windows Internet Explorer. So it gives us the title of the page we're viewing. Just underneath this, on the left, we have a back button and a forward button. They're used for navigating through your web pages as you go along through your browsing. Next to this we have probably the most important part of your browser and this is the address bar. And in your address bar it will give the web page address that is unique to that web page and that is called the Uniform Resource Locator or URL. Every web page has a unique URL. We can use the address bar to search for other web pages and we'll demonstrate that in another tutorial. Further along we have a refresh button. If the page isn't loaded correctly we can refresh it and we can stop it if the page is taking too long to load. A search bar for Google if we just type in a search there and then underneath towards the left we have what's called a favorites button. If we click on the favorites button favorite websites that I frequently visit are in the favorites. Now you can add to favorites so if you come across a website that you want to find later on or you're going to use it frequently you can use the button at the top to add it to your favorites and then you can find it easily. History. Every web page that we visit is recorded in our history. So another way of finding a web page that we've visited before is to go to the history. Now along the right hand side we have a house icon and that is the home button so if we're taking a look at another web page and we want to come back to our home page just click on the home button. Further along mail if our email client is configured we can use the read mail button to read our mail we can print using the print icon from the web page that we're viewing and then we have some more buttons which I'm not going to go into at the moment and they are for customizing and for privacy settings and for changing the appearance of our pages. So that's very quickly Internet Explorer. Let's take a look at Mozilla Firefox. Our browser Mozilla Firefox opens and straight away you can see it's slightly different. I haven't got Google as a home page here. What I've got is I've got the Mozilla Firefox start page loaded and that is the home page that we're using in Firefox. So that's a difference straight away. If we move it to the top, there's the title. The title is displayed similarly. Mozilla Firefox start page with Mozilla Firefox. But underneath now we have some menus. A file menu, open new windows, open locations, open files, edit, view, and then we've got history. Our history is a, a menu across the top and that shows all our history if we wanted to. And next to that we have bookmarks. And this is different to Internet Explorer because the favourites are called bookmarks. So it's the same thing, you're, making fa you're adding favourites or you're bookmarking something. So they do the same job but it's called slightly differently bookmarking or adding to favourites. And 
and tools and help. So that's the basics of browsers. Thanks very much.